IELTS speaking. Welcome everyone to Super Duper English IELTS speaking course. In this lesson, we will focus on how to answer the speaking part one with questions that talk about prefer. Stay focused, grab your pen and notebook because you do not want to miss any information from this lesson. Firstly, we would learn about the most common questions with prefer. Then we would provide a guide on how to answer these questions. And finally, lots of sample answers that you can practice with. Most common questions with prefer. Do you prefer A or B? Do you prefer comfortable shoes or fashionable shoes? Do you prefer to do A or B? Do you prefer to live in a big city or in the countryside? Do you prefer doing A or B? Do you prefer traveling with friends or alone? Guide to answer. Step one, answer the question directly. Step two, expand the answer. Step one, answer the question directly using one of the following expressions. I prefer A to B. I prefer A rather than B. I would prefer to do A rather than doing B. I would rather do A than do B. A is a better choice for me. It depends. For example, I prefer eating in a restaurant to eating at home. Eating in a restaurant is a better choice for me. Step two, expand the answer by making a comparison between A and B. Each answer should have at least two elements to compare between A and B. For example, eating in a restaurant saves much more time than eating at home because I don't have to go to the market to prepare ingredients, cook meals, and wash dishes. Also, dishes served in restaurants are significantly more delicious than those I cook by myself. You know, there are many professional and experienced chefs in each restaurant who cook very well. Let's practice. Example 1. Do you prefer to travel by bike or by bus? Step 1. Answer the question directly. I prefer to cycle rather than take a bus. Step 2. Expand the answer. Cycling is so much more convenient than taking a bus if you are not traveling long distance. Actually, it's often faster to go by bike because you don't get stuck in traffic jams. Also, cycling is better for health than other means of transport because you need to burn your calories a lot. Example 2. Do you prefer using paper dictionaries or electronic ones? Step 1. Online dictionaries are a better option for me. Step 2. Because they are available free of charge on the internet, while the price of paper dictionaries are often quite exorbitant. Also, only with a mobile phone connected to the internet can I use dictionaries whenever or wherever I want, so it is more convenient than paper dictionaries. Example 3. Do you prefer comfortable shoes or fashionable shoes? I prefer comfortable shoes like sneakers to fashionable ones like high-heeled shoes because these sneakers give me a sense of comfort. Also, these shoes are affordable while a pair of high-heeled shoes often costs a fortune, so I cannot afford to buy this luxury item. Let's practice with more examples. Do you prefer talking with friends on the phone or face-to-face? -face? I prefer to talk with friends in person rather than on the phone because I can easily have some chit-chats with them and tell them about my problems. Also, this is a better way to improve my social skills in comparison to talking on the phone. Do you prefer talking with friends on the phone or face-to-face? -face? It depends on the situation and the people involved. Sometimes talking with friends on the phone can be convenient, especially if they live far away or if we're busy with other tasks. However, face-to-face -face conversations often allow for deeper connections and a better understanding of each other's emotions through facial expressions and body language. So, whether I prefer talking on the phone or face-to-face -face really depends on the context and my current needs. Do you prefer living in the countryside or in a big city? 
I prefer to live in rural areas rather than in urban areas because of the clean and fresh quality of air in the countryside compared to the polluted air in big cities, which helps me to stay healthy. Also, people in the countryside are much more friendly than city dwellers, so I always feel everyone in the countryside is my relatives. Do you prefer living in the countryside or in a big city? When it comes to living preferences, it depends on my lifestyle and priorities. Living in the countryside offers tranquility, fresh air, and a closer connection to nature, which can be rejuvenating and peaceful. On the other hand, big cities provide a bustling environment with diverse opportunities, entertainment options, and convenient amenities. So whether I prefer the countryside or a big city depends on what I value more at that particular time in my life. Do you prefer to study in the morning or in the evening? I would prefer to study in the early morning too in the evening. Due to the fact that I am an early bird, not a night owl, I am able to concentrate more on my study in the morning. Also, getting up early in the morning to study prevents me from being distracted by the noise of people and vehicles. Therefore, it allows me to have a productive day with a lot of work done. Do you prefer to study in the morning or in the evening? As for studying habits, it depends on my personal rhythm and schedule. Some people find they concentrate better in the morning when their minds are fresh and alert, while others may feel more productive in the evening when the day's distractions have subsided. So, whether I prefer to study in the morning or evening depends on when I feel most focused and motivated to learn. Do you prefer shopping at the market or in the supermarket? I would rather shop in the supermarket rather than shop at the market. Firstly, as there is a wide variety of goods displayed in the supermarket, I can buy all the things I need in one place. So it kind of helps me to save a great deal of time in comparison with shopping at the market. Secondly, sellers in a supermarket are often more friendly and helpful to their customers. Do you prefer shopping at the market or in the supermarket? When it comes to shopping, it depends on what I need and my mood. Shopping at the market can offer fresher produce, a more authentic experience, and the chance to support local vendors. On the other hand, supermarkets often provide a wider variety of products, greater convenience, and the possibility of finding everything I need in one place. So, whether I prefer shopping at the market or supermarket depends on what I'm looking for and how I want to experience my shopping trip. Do you prefer traveling with friends or alone? Traveling with a company of buddies is a better option for me because I will have someone to chat with and to share experiences with during my journey. Also, I can snap some unforgettable photos with my friends. More importantly, it would be safer if I travel with my friends because I will have someone to help in case of emergency. Do you prefer traveling with friends or alone? When it comes to traveling, whether I prefer to travel with friends or alone depends on the destination and my mood. Traveling with friends can enhance the experience by providing companionship, shared memories, and opportunities for socializing. It can also make certain activities more enjoyable and safer, especially in unfamiliar places. On the other hand, traveling alone offers freedom, independence, and the chance for self-discovery. So, whether I prefer to travel with friends or alone varies depending on what I seek to gain from the travel experience. Do you prefer to cook at home or eat out at restaurants? Eating at home is a better choice for me. Meals at restaurants are often high in fat and calories, and they serve big plates of food, much more than I need to eat in one meal. If you cook food at home, you have more control over the ingredients and the portion size. Moreover, I love cooking. It's one of my hobbies, so I try to eat at home as often as possible. Do you prefer to cook at home or eat out at restaurants? When it comes to dining preferences, it depends on various factors. Cooking at home allows for control over ingredients, portion sizes, and cooking methods, which can contribute to healthier meals and cost savings. On the other hand, eating out at restaurants offers convenience, the opportunity to try new cuisines and a social dining experience. 
So, whether I prefer to cook at home or eat out at restaurants depends on my mood, schedule, and the occasion. Do you prefer to travel by car or by public transportation? I think I prefer public transport. It's much more inexpensive. And because it can accommodate a large number of people, it helps ease the intensity of traffic jams during peak hours and reduce the greenhouse gas emissions caused by vehicles. Private transportation, on the other hand, is more costly in terms of fees, taxes, and gasoline. Do you prefer to travel by car or by public transportation? Actually, it depends on the destination, distance, and convenience. Traveling by car offers flexibility, the ability to explore remote areas, and privacy during the journey. However, it also comes with responsibilities such as parking and maintenance. On the contrary, public transportation provides affordability, environmentally friendly options, and the chance to avoid traffic congestion. Yet, it may have limitations in terms of routes and schedules. So, whether I prefer to travel by car or public transportation depends on the specific circumstances of the trip and my personal preferences at the time. Do you prefer desktops or laptops? I personally prefer desktops over laptops. This is because desktops offer more processing power and storage capabilities, allowing for smoother and faster performance, particularly when working with complex programs or large files. Furthermore, desktops are generally more cost-effective than laptops as they can be upgraded and repaired more easily, providing a longer lifespan. Additionally, desktops also offer a larger screen and a more comfortable keyboard and mouse, making them more suitable for extended periods of use. Do you prefer desktops or laptops? It depends on my current needs. Desktops are typically more powerful and offer more upgrade options, making them ideal for tasks that require a lot of processing power, such as gaming and video editing. They also tend to be less expensive than laptops, making them a good choice for those who want to save money. Laptops, on the other hand, are more portable and convenient. They allow users to take their work and entertainment with them wherever they go, making them ideal for people who are always on the move. So, my choice of using a laptop or desktop usually comes down to what I need the device for at the moment. Would you prefer to live in a hot place or a cold place? I would rather prefer to live in a place which is neither cold nor hot. But, unfortunately, nature chooses to behave in its own terms without worrying about what humans prefer or wish. But, if I am asked to choose, I would go for a moderately cold place, mainly because putting a few warm clothes on my body is a much more respectable thing to me than remaining semi-naked in order to avoid extreme heat and moistures. Do you prefer cold or hot weather? Well, I think it depends on what I have planned for the day. So if I have to work all day, then I would rather prefer slightly cold weather because staying in the office when it's hot and airless is a total disaster. Although, on the weekend, I really enjoy the sun. I may go for a picnic or just for a walk to get that energizing vitamin D3. So my weather preferences depend a lot on the context. Do you prefer foreign films or films made in your country? Well, since my country doesn't have a huge film industry, I've always been really into American films. Not to knock other film industries, but American ones are incredibly entertaining and well-made. The evolution of special effects and action scenes continues to amaze me. Moreover, I try to watch movies in English so it helps me to learn new slang and expressions. Do you prefer foreign films or films made in your country? I appreciate both foreign films and those made in my country, so my choice usually depends on the genre. Foreign films offer diverse perspectives and storytelling styles. While domestic movies hold a special place in my heart as they often portray our culture and history, when I'm in the mood for an action thriller or puzzling detective story, I usually choose foreign movies. However, when I want to watch a calm historical movie or a funny social comedy, a domestic film is a better choice for me. So, I can say that my movie preferences depend a lot on the context. 
Good job, guys. This is the end of Lesson 6 of our IELTS speaking course. See you in our next videos.